On day three of the advent calendar, I discussed Rare Bird and the departure of Graham Field, one of the keyboardists. You might think that this was due to the fact that there are one too many keyboardists in the band, but this was not the case at all. In fact, like many bands, they had signed a very one-sided management contract and Field wanted out. This would, however, be the beginning of a new project. Field signed a new contract with CBS and through Robert Fripp found ex-King Crimson drummer Andrew McCulloch, who would bring bassist and vocalist Alan Berry into the fold, thus the band Fields was born. The chemistry between band members was apparent and they released their self-titled album in 1971. It turned out to be a magnificent organ-driven prog effort. The band began gaining momentum with album sales and touring dates before everything came crashing down when the CBS staff in London were fired and replaced by a staff from New York. <sighs> McCulloch would find himself in Greenslade, bury session work, and Field would unfortunately depart from the music industry altogether with a sour taste in his mouth. Luckily for Fields fans, 2015 saw the release of their second album, Contrast, Urban Roar to Country Peace, this time featuring bassist vocalist Frank Farrell from an early version of Super Tramp. This album was recorded in 1972 and was shelved by CBS for over 40 years and finally released by Esoteric Recordings. I haven't listened to my copy yet, but I will. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until tomorrow. Thank you.